Wouldn't it be great if every single prospect bought on the first meeting? Of course it would, but sadly that is not the reality. And in today's video, I want to expand on what I covered in a previous video where I talked about the prospecting strategy, the automated prospecting strategy that I'm actually having very good success with at getting meetings with C-level executives. And there'll be a, a link somewhere up here that'll show up a little pop that you click, but the link to that video is also in the description. But today I want to talk to you about how to automate the follow-up as well. Ready to go? Let's get into it. Are you tired of running a tiny little marketing agency that's really difficult to scale and even harder to generate the profits that you want in your life? Well, the solution is to turn your little agency into a small SaaS business so that you can generate recurring revenue that's very high margin and very sticky. And the good news is there's some revolutionary software available to help you do just that. Be sure and click the link right down in the description to learn more. So follow-up is incredibly important because not everybody buys on the first call. And so you're going, and, and, and oftentimes there's gonna be more than one person involved in the decision to buy whatever it is that you're gonna sell. So that means that you as the account executive, sales rep, whatever you'd like to call yourself, are going to have to do follow-up. Now, what I'd like to share with you on the screen is a system that I have built using Flowster Automate software that basically automates across multi-channels a series of follow-ups. And the reason I think it's important to automate this um, or at least a portion of this is so that you don't get lazy or that you don't forget to make it happen. So let's do a little screen sharing here. And you'll see in my sales standard operating procedure, step number 15 is this content drip thing. So the thing that you're trying to solve with the type of follow-up that I'm about to show you is in my case, I demonstrate software. These are demos. And there's too many features in the various software products that we sell to like put it all on one email right after the meeting. Like, hey, Dave, thanks very much for meeting with me. Here's the 27 features that you absolutely, absolutely need to know about. That would be one email with way too many links in it. So instead, I break that up into a series of automated communications. So let's dive into Flowster Automate and we will show you what that looks like. So the very first thing that this workflow is going to do is we're gonna create a opportunity. We choose our pipeline, we give it a stage, in this case, demo complete, and that's really all we have to do. And we're gonna wait a day and that's just a wait and then we are going to send a link via email to our three minute demo of one of our products. So, hey Dave, I was thinking you might wanna show Flowster to some other folks on your team without having to spend a lot of time doing it. With that in mind, here's this link to this three minute demo, yada, 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 yada. And then we put a one day delay and then we send an SMS. So it's very important to do multi-channel and, and the easiest way to be able to send SMS, of course, is to use Flowster Automate, but also to make sure that you're collecting the mobile number when they're booking the appointment with you, which Flowster Automate also does for you. And then you're gonna wait another day and then you're going to send a link to whatever other feature or function that you want. In this case, I'm sending a link to Flowster's Marketplace. And then we are going to wait five minutes and we're going to send an SMS that basically says, hey, this is a really important email. Did you get this one? Um, because again, you want to be multi-channel as best you can. So then those are kind of like the, the most important things that I want them to know in the shortest amount of time so that they might be able to share it with other people on their team. Now we're going to slow the, the drip down a little bit. So we're going to wait two days. Then we send them an email to talk about our conditional logic feature. And then we're gonna wait more two days, more two days, another two days, and we're gonna send them a link to content about our task calendar that's in Flowster process. Two more days, we're gonna talk about one of our plans called Flowster Unlimited. Sidebar, if you need SOPs created, we have this plan called Flowster Unlimited for a certain fee per month. And I'm not mentioning the fee because it might change and then I have to reshoot the video so you'll be able to go to the page and find out. It's flowster.app slash unlimited. Um, 
Anyway, it, it, it's a very popular plan for folks who are trying to get a lot of SOPs created on a done for you basis. Then we're gonna wait another day. We're just sending an SMS. And now in this SMS, I'm just saying, hey, Trent here from Flowster again. Any questions about the emails that I've been sending over the last few days? I wanna make sure that you have all the info about our product uh, kind of without overwhelming you uh, with everything that our software will do. And then we're gonna now slow it down a little bit further. We're gonna wait three days. We're gonna talk about our Flowster Connect software in yet another email. And then I'm actually gonna wait a full week before I start talking about Flowster Automate. Because in Flowster, we have multiple products. We have our core product, which is called Flowster Process, which is our process and workflow management software. Then we have Flowster Connect, which is our LinkedIn automation software. And then we have Flowster Automate, which is our marketing automation multi. That's what you're looking at on the screen right now. It is kind of the Swiss army knife of marketing products. And as a, a little disclaimer, uh, Flowster Automate, we're actually white labeling some software called High Level. So if you're running a marketing agency, it is a wonderful tool to turn your agency actually into a SaaS. And I'll cover that in another video. And I uh, will put a link to that down in the description for you as well. And then we're going to wait an hour and we're going to do an SMS about Flowster Automate. So that is my automated post demo or post meeting workflow. And the whole goal there is to make sure that on a predetermined cadence, I've got all that follow up going out without my having to manually do it. So as ideally to stimulate replies and or questions from my prospect that then I can handle on a more manual basis. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more videos about systems and automation in your business, then please subscribe to the channel, click that little bell. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, I would love it if you would help me to show it to other people on the YouTubes by clicking the little thumbs up button. All right, thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.